All right, next, the lips. I want my character to have his mouth slightly open. So I'm gonna put the bottom lip on first, just like that. Notice I just did a little coil of clay. Lips tend to go to the center of the eyes. So I'm gonna want my lips about that wide or wider if you wanna exaggerate it. Now I'm taking a coil of clay and we're gonna start with fish lips and then I'm gonna blend them in. As long as your clay is plastic, a lot of this doesn't need to be scored, slip, pressed, knitted. I did the eyes um, because they're a larger amount of clay. And then I'll show you later about adding teeth if you want to. Okay, so we got the major features minus some cheeks and a chin. So now I'm gonna take two balls of clay and I want them to be the same size. I'm gonna do pinch pots, little bitty pinch pots. One. And I've got two. Now I'm gonna take these pinch pots and I'm gonna make them a little bit longer rather than round. So I've turned them into an oval rather than a circle. All right, and then these pinch pots are gonna become my cheeks. And I'm just gonna set them there. I know they look big, but remember we want exaggerated features and we can always push them down. Now I'm gonna do one more pinch pot. And this is for the chin. Okay, so some things I can do at this point though, before I attach these is I can come in and I can poke holes here. And I can poke holes here so that if there's any contained air, it will escape through the mask. All right. Now I'm gonna blend these in. And you notice already how much the cheeks kind of flatten when you blend them in. So if we start with that exaggerated form, it'll look more real in the end. In. All right, so now what I've done is I've just done the basic features of the face. 